am Lana for Hollywood Junket. Today I'm standing outside of Hollywood's Gold's Gym. This is where only the finest come to train. In fact, I just saw Fabio rolling in. Well, American Gladiators is gearing up for its second season, and we were at the open casting call held at Gold's Gym in Venice Beach, California. Well, what did we find when we showed up there? Oh my goodness, you will not believe. We saw everything from football players, Marines, and even one crazy self-proclaimed master climber. Whatever that is, I'm not quite sure. But he was there. Check out this footage and see what you think. Oh, I was saying they should just throw everyone in a giant cage together and then whoever comes out alive gets it. Yeah, just start the show right there. I think it's the fairest way. The only fair way, really. Yeah, it's the fastest right way. way. It'll be easier for everyone. <laughs> everyone, the producers get in and out, like, got our job done, sweet, go home, make it in time for lunch. I've been in line since 10, 10.30, so it's 10 o'clock. Right now it's about six hours. Been here since about 10. Been waiting here since about 10. It's about 3 o'clock now. We're hungry, that's damn sure. Oh, no, no, I was just here to support him. You know, we had lunch. Yeah. It was good. My name's Brittany, and I'm from Asperia, California. I've been in line for about seven hours now. My name is uh, Alex Coates. I came here from Orange County. California to try out for American Gladiators. My name is Marcel Demery. I'm coming from Irvine, California. Combi's Atashian. My nickname is Nick. Uh, Enrique Escajeda. Came from Chino Hills. Well, drove from Long Beach, but live in Chino Hills. Heather, Garther. Dari and Hatcher. And I'm here because I watched uh, American Gladiators ever since I was a little kid, and my boyfriend and me are really competitive with sports, he's a wrestler, and um, I'm hoping that I can show him what I got. Yes, I am a fan of the show. I've been uh, sort of like a shadow dream of mine to compete against the Gladiators. I always wanted to do it. I used to watch the series a lot when I was younger. I wasn't going head to head with some of the biggest guys, see what the Gladiators are really made of, see if they can uh, handle a little guy like me. I don't think the Gladiators have the background of what I do. Challenge, muses, it looks cool. I've always been the little guy, I've been picked on by the bigger guys. So I thought, hey, totally gonna be the little guy that I hear David and Goliath story, I'm the David. Yeah. Well actually I um on the original show I got picked to do it and like three days before the show I hurt my, uh, hurt my arm and couldn't do the show so now it's back and we'll see if I can do it again. Uh, well, I'm a communications trainer and a media, uh, mediator for conflict in the workplace so I teach people how to be nice to each other. <laughs> no, I never get to take my aggression out, it's all repressed so I get to finally let loose. <laughs> my boyfriend found out that they were having tryouts so we're like really like stoked to be here. I spent four and a half years in the Marine Corps and I coach wrestling. I've wrestled for uh, eight years now so Shape-wise, I'm pretty confident. I've been playing football, a little bit of cardio and a little bit of weightlifting to maintain. This is a goal for me, so this is my NFL since uh, I didn't make the NFL. I used to be a world champion martial arts boxer. I train with a lot of heavyweight boxers. So that gives me a lot of advantage. I do a lot of like circus stuff. I like climb ropes and I've done Spanish web and stuff like that. So gym, gymnast stuff. He's actually my trainer, so he's put me through the paces already, and uh, we're gonna be here see how much he could torture me again. I was actually in the uh, Air Force and uh, used to train about three hours, six days a week, was heavily into it. And then uh, after I got out, several things happened. I just kind of fell off the wayside. So for the last two years, I've been training with him. And uh, when this opportunity came up, I thought this was a good way to show that I was still in the game. My greatest strength is I'm really strong for a girl. I'd like to take on Militia, because I feel he's probably one of the strongest, uh, he's the strongest gladiator. He's the most a athletic. I want to go head up with Titan. He's he seems like the leader of the gladiators and uh, seems like a real big guy. So I'll take all of them down. Yeah. I think I could climb him and totally jump off, maybe. But I wouldn't say take on, per se. That's a little extreme. I'll take them all of them. I mean, that's what you got to do. You win, right? It doesn't really matter to me. Like, they're all pretty big cats, but I played football for 13 years, so I've played with bigger people, so I'm not really intimidated by any of the, uh, the gladiators right now. I think my, uh, my strongest strength uh, would probably be my speed. Um, I'm pretty quick on, uh, quick on my feet. I'm able to change directions pretty fast. Uh, mentality, I got a crazy mentality. I'm really willing to go straight up with the biggest guy out there. Just being me, I'm a little intense and 
I do what I'm supposed to do. You know, I finish the job. I want to know what would happen if I stood up against the tallest, most gigantic gladiator of all time. If I duck fast enough, will he fall over me? Will I, will I be more of just like a brick that he tripped over? Like, I think I have really good uh, stamina, and I'm pretty quick when it comes to, like short, like this is like sprinting. Like I'm like the quickest girl I know. No, I don't actually. <laughs> I, don't, I do not have a gladiator. <laughs> if I were to be a gladiator, um, the raging bull. I still don't have a gladiator name. No. Maybe the silencer, but that's about it. David Blaine, if that hasn't been taken, or Chris Angel. You know, now you see me, now you don't, kind of thing. Yeah, some quick. No, I'll just use my nickname. It's all I need. My nickname is Hatch. Well, what do you think? Some possible challengers? Or should we say victims for these gladiators? Well, keep checking back to Hollywood Junket. We're going to have more happenings posted right here in L.A.